What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from Thinking Major here. Welcome you back to another episode of Dang and Roblox. Chapter 1, Deadly Life. Last episode, we uh, witnessed some murder. Um, it was no fun. Um, you know, because it literally was two of my top freaking five. Or technically two of my top three, if we want to be even more specific. So, in today's episode... What we're going to be taking care of and being trying to take on um, is figuring out how deadly life works other than people die. So let's talk to these people, see what they have to say. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting a guard on duty so nobody can disturb the area, don't you? After all, the culprit decides to destroy the evidence. We're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think of it that, or I don't have to like having to think. Anyway, I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Mm. Okay, so we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the heck not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence that you <sighs> want. What? So then. Fine, I'll stay on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Team player, co-op base defense with the two of them. With our stats, they're totally <laughs> OP. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Are, are you serious? So we're really going to find out who did it? Yes, we have to. Hmm. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. If we find out who did it, then that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then the rest of us face execution. What, the heck? what this ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. Celeste, what do you have to say? Oh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed? What the crap. Huh, I noticed <laughs> what? I was looking through the Monokuma file we received. I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? huh? Wh what are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead and take a look. Notice anything interesting about the where, where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's Rodorum. Uh. What? She's right. <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone started to gaze and turn at me. Hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. For just one night, I I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> what the heck? Do you expect us to b b believe that? Just, just tell us the tr tr truth. Look at in everyone's eyes that had done a complete 180 for a few minutes from a few minutes earlier. Feeling the suspicion and the fear had returned, in other words. You, you, you think I did, did it? Deflection from Celeste. I hate this, but we still have no choice. We have to figure out who did it, or else we're all dead. Huh? Is it really happening? Don't fuck with me. Screw this piece of crap, bear. What should I do? Someone got right in front of us. They. <laughs> uh. Sakura, what do you have to say? <sighs> we can't run away from the situation. We should have no choice but to move on forward. Huh? Huh? Uh, um. Well, what's going on? Oh my god, dude. If you need um, consciousness crash, restarting now. Please wait a moment. She must have looked, been so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. Just a second. Hold on. Huh. Before we begin with the investigation, isn't there something else we need to discuss? Oh, yeah. Can't let anything distract me right now. Anyway, we're gonna find out who the killer is because if we don't, we're all gonna die here. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check her pulse. 
<laughs> like they do in movies and stuff. She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't even know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like huh? that. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Just wait a second. She's dead. And that means, what? That means everything that's happened so far is real. It's not a joke or whatever. It's really Let real. Let me out of here. Oh no, someone save me. Somebody help What's me. What's your problem? You're just, just now accepting that. So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon at this point. We should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll be confident to collect clues to, in the form of a foundation and then construct an argument and come to a final decision. If so... we get this wrong... Well, do we have any any more to say? Me. I'd rather you didn't know. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. Just like that, Kyoko was gone. And he real he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm on guard, guard duty. Better head to the scene of the mm. crime. Ah, uh, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. Whatever it did, if whatever son of a butt did this here right now and they they're thinking of destroying that evidence You're fucking they dead. better not let me find them i'll skip the trial and cave their skull in, in myself i'm serious i will mess them up letting his deadly words hang in the air he and sakura ran so, off um... but i mean we're not detectives or anything you know how are we gonna investigate a murder how are we even gonna or how do we even do something like that anyway we don't really have to do anything in particular. We, we already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is very it was you, you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <clears throat> I don't don't come any cookaloster. If you are, are you gonna kill me next? So um. Ah uh, well, I guess it could wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. If it, it's not. For, for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um, That's true. We might as well at least check to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted, well, wanted to, I couldn't help and investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good, good with b -b -b blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I'm uh, I I blacked out. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. All right. I guess we better get going. Wait, wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. With their partying looks at me had still been filled with the suspicion. Does everyone really think that I'm the one that killed? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is... Execution. Execution! Electric chair, bzz, bzz, poison gas, <laughs> torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. Investigate. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka... Maizono. Time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound in the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right waist as well. Specifically, the waist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push on forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find the truth so that we all can survive. And for Sayaka. I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma File 1 has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Uh, uh, no way. Uh, I seriously don't want to die here. Help me. I'm begging you. All of the freaking gods, help me. I don't care who it is. I just get me out of here. He doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Nor would Chichio. Aren't you going to help um, investigate, Chichiro? But I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. 
I have to stay. Okay, and we're back to being able to check, jump those poles or something. That's just a monitor, okay. I'm back in the gym. I'm silly. First of all, I should head back to the scene of the crime. My room. I won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room where Sayaka's corpse shell, uh, Sayaka's corpse still remained. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Holy heck. I should look around here first. I can check out their spots later. There are scratches and gourd and gorges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there might have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it. I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So you could... So something could happen in the room right next to you. And there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps. This is another Monokuma strategy in creating the ideal setting for our murderer. Evidence of a struggle has been added to your truth bullets in your hand. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does it mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it had been taken out of its sheath. I didn't actually look at the blade itself until now. I shouldn't be surprised. It's coated in gold, too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off part off parts of the blade and, ha and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. Remember, its coating sticks to you even if you just touch it for a little bit. Replica sword has been added to your truth bullet section. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. So this must be my room key, if I remember correctly. Ah, uh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key in here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, do not open the door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point in even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. She could have dropped it. So how did the killer... Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. <laughs> Some, there's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if somebody used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense that the sheath is so badly damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you'd do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would get only get in the way. It could just slide in the middle of a fight. 
So why is there scratches on the self? Or on the sheath? I'm gonna check if there's scratches on the floor, too. No, no, no. There we go. There are scratches and gorges on the walls and bed. This is evidence of a struggle. Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in mm -hmm. my room. Or... Well. Okay, we already, we already knew that, apparently. The display sand, this uh, it's the display sand. The sword was on. Ah, looking at the lint roller, it looks like it was. There's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty the room was and decide to clean up a little? There's gadgets in the bed, like somebody attacked it. What the hell happened here? By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have destroyed some evidence, right? Before any of us found the body. I mean, there is a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed stuff out in there. Yeah, that's most definitely possible. You son of a bitch! <sighs> Shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is and deserves death. That's what my brother taught You're me. You're fucking so dead. I, I find the son of a gun that did this. I'm gonna pound their face in. But what if that it was a girl who did it? Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty hey. too? I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not, or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest come to up with, I will follow your lead. I see. See, now Kyoko's here. Hey, Coco. I quietly called her by name. She was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every Did inch of the room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know exactly what she or what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood Listen. up and said, "Are you a clean freak? Huh? N no, I don't think so. But what?" Nodding, she glanced around the room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another and didn't find a single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you. So even though you've been living here, you know, now that you mention it, I've noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could somebody have used it too? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it. Someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, somebody other than you came in and scrubbed your floor clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well. That's the question now, isn't it? Nice. Makoto's room clean cleanliness has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Should look around here first. Check other spots later. Still here, but 
I think it's relevant right now. The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence of it being used at all. Which makes sense. I mean, I guess mine and I had... I guess it's mine and I hadn't any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, what? what? We ain't what? exactly in the mood to be building furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then. What? Not just me. What? Nobody's busted theirs. Not just, not just me. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way, none of the guys had opened their toolkits yet because they were, like, why the heck would we? Toolkit has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. The bathroom. On the other side of this door. Dot, dot, dot. No. I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push the panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything it made that made her her. Sayok. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and an urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to be the one to uncover this. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But the thought held me up and supported me. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but now is no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. Whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something we should look into later. According to the Monokuma file, Sayako's right wrist was broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's sort of there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist too. Right there. Where her wrist is swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me. There's some sort of blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of her hands are totally spotless. So how come it's only her finger? Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truth bullets section of your notebook. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean... How would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's already possible. It's so it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacks Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. I looked past Hayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Did Sayaka do this? It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers? <laughs> I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with right. life her, uh, at life herself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do those mean? 11037. I have no idea what it could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to tell... She wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting on the floor when we found her... It means that she would have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. Well, if you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result. Well. Think about it. 
You're not going to tell Makoto. me? You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but obviously you're trying to tell me. Dying message has been added to the truth bullets. Sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one more thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know about how the door in the bathroom got broken? Broken? You know how it gets stuck. What? It gets stuck. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit quite in the frame. When I tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learned the trick, it's no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit in the frame, huh? Then it's actually referring to the broken doorknob. Uh-huh, the doorknob. That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door, and I'm sure you'll right away you'll see what I'm talking about. I did what Kiyoka said and showed the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. So then. I'm referring to the broken doorknob. What the heck? The doorknob is practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... So it must have been... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever that means, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would somebody do that? So... I guess they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can have locks, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. And then apparently struck with the sudden realization she just a second. the question at me. I have one more question for you. You mentioned before earlier that your door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anybody about that? Oh, um, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about mm -hmm. it. Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of smirk on her face and got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears it all up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. I'll see you later. As if forgetting I was even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the truth bullet section. So I don't understand any of this, but I've already given my room one good once over. Maybe I should give it a look somewhere else. I should start looking into the murder weapon. I might ha that might have come from. I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see by for myself what's in that video. On top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks if they're e oh, they'll even talk to me. That is. Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate says Sayaka on it. Very strange. So, why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. <laughs> even what... Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? <laughs> huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? The reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switched rooms? She's dead because of me? Then it should have been me who d that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... If it was true, then I... This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched. So all that effort into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. Why would anybody do that? Oh my gosh. Why would anybody do that? Dorm na nameplates have been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. The Mamakoto file says Sayaka was killed in your room. 
I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Mm hmm. Mm, very strange. Mr. Niagi and Mr. and Miss Maizono doing in your. What was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just see this. Suspicious. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Where's the trash room? Second all. Oh. Because they keep talking about it. I'm sure there's already been evidence disposed in here. There's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, 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 rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Nice. There's a sturdy gate here. There's no way to get past. Appears. At the end of the line, the trash room is where all the trash in the school eventually wind up. How did you get the no, gate no, open? No, no, you can't go any further. No, 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 no entry beyond this point. The only person, only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty. No, no, you can't go any further. No, no, entry is be beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who is on cleaning no, duty? No, no, you can't go any further. This is stupid. It'd be faster to just get around and ask no, the others. No, no, you can't go any further. Cleaning duty. It has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. I think dining hall, hall is where I want to go. Yeah, let's go to the dining hall. Why not? I don't see a reason not to. This was a big a big place where we did a lot of stuff, so maybe. Or Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is the first time for me, you know. I don't have a clue of what I should be doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know why, but being in a dining hall helps me keep calm. So, I know I shouldn't, but I've been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka died and Well, actually, let me go back in the kitchen real quick. Hold on. This is where they could have gotten the knives. Yeah, there's one missing. They're all, these are all some kind of kitchen knives. It's big, small, but one of them is missing. Was it missing from the beginning? Or I'd better see if anyone knows more about it. The knife set has been added to the truth bullet section. Sorry, I had to go back in there. I was like, that's the only place that they would have gotten the knife. Who, who else knew about the kitchen, though? That becomes the secondary question. Who knew about the kitchen? Because whoever knew about the kitchen knew something was up. And knew they could get away with something. Okay, what about these? The classrooms. Probably nothing too big about the classrooms, but... T 
Toko, can you tell me something about cleaning huh? duty? C cleaning du du duty? What's your problem? Like I didn't know anything about that. Taka's, Taka's the one who's who cares about stupid organizational stuff like that. That is true. That's just the doorway out. Yeah, so there's nothing else in here. Gotta go find Taka then. Which, to be completely honest, we can find out where Taka is right now. Literally right here. Hallway. Taka, I need your help. Hi, Buckaroo. Hmm. Cleaning duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Monokuba came and talked to me yesterday morning. Really? Listen to me. He probably realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. Topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so are you on cleaning duty now? That's wrong. Actually, no. Huh? Then who is? <laughs> he fooled me. I was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty? Count on it. Indeed. But we'll swap on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up for not, not too long. When the time comes, I'll be counting on you. He fooled me. Which, if we go to... Report card. He feel me does have motive. Breaking up the love couple. Like I could see that being a, a strong motive for him. Nothing in here. Okay. You know what? Let's go to the gym. We should go back to the gym and see what we can do. Hey, Celeste. Do you know anything about the cleaning duty huh? stuff? Cleaning duty? What's that? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe she asked Taka or someone else. Anything but anyone but re me, really. We already got that. Hey, Chichiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what those numbers might mean? Like, could they be code or something? Mm. Um, sorry, but no. Chichiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even if she doesn't know. Or could she maybe be knowing whether she's letting on? No, it couldn't be. He's probably still in like a crazy like. Oh my gosh! Ugh, no way! I seriously don't want to die here. Help me! Okay. There's nothing to the one one zero three seven. Even though my in my head I'm like that's Leon backwards.
But there are parts that I just don't trust of the of the Leon backwards theory. Okay, we talked to all three of them. actually into Sayaka's room if we can. Because we wanted to see what's in the tape. Sorry, exactly, but I need to borrow this DVD. We'll check our garbage can too now that I think about it. Oh my gosh. Oh, for a second I thought they went away. I was like, no, 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 no. There's my trash can. Okay, it's not part of anything. And then there was exclamation points. That must have been one we found truth bullets. Unless there's actually something we can do in here. But I don't think so. I think it's just for truth bullets. Hey, so, did you notice that one of the knives in the kitchen were missing from the yeah, knife? Yeah, totally. Home? Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. So it wasn't missing from the beginning. That's right. Nope. Last I remember that they were all lined up nice and neat. So, when did you notice that one of them disappeared? Well... Well... Yes. Love you. All I went to go get was some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives are still there. But when I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives were gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining mm. hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came to look and took it. So you should be able to say for sure. You, you can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. I always account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Um. Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not. I would never. Hina, do you really think I murdered her? I mean. Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, like, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing is another classic drama setup. So, when you consider everything together, Aww. I honestly have no idea. Girl. Okay, so the exclamation points were I uncovered information in areas. So I can go back here and I should be able to uh, further this cleaning room scenario. Tell Monokuma that I was assigned the cleaning duty. Monokuma appears! No, no, you can't go any f Cleaning. No, no, you can't... No, no, you can't... No, no, you can't go any f Okay, no, there's actually nothing that I can do in here. Oh, 
Oh. Looks like something kind of switch. I wonder what it does. Nice. Oh, I guess I locked it out of this room. Nothing for me. Why do you move positions now? <laughs> he assumed he was uh, there in cleaning duty, in the cleaning duty section. I asked him if he gave, if I asked him for the job, gave it to him. Please uncleaning Count duty on then. It. Indeed. But let's swap it Got on. It. Okay. That part I got already. Now we can play the tape. That's a Yakuzov. Should be able to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Siaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen, pushed play, and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing in the outstage front and center was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friends she had been that had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, full of life. Seeing the image made it even harder to spot and accept, except that she was dead. The vision of her started to blur and darken, and then the voice I had come to despise began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. Suddenly, the screen went dark, and in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <laughs> what the? Sayaka disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But I noticed even more than that. The figures of the other girls who had simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart! None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Look for the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? The super famous pop group, everyone knows who they are. Are you trying to say that he wasn't, or say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? We'll find out in the next episode of Danganronpa. Catch you later. Um, Fushimi is the fanfic dude, because he's on cleaning duty, and we need to know what's going on with that. Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning hmm. duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me, why do you ask? It so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without somebody, on, without somebody on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. Hmm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you were on cleaning duty, you can open the gate from the front of the trash room. Here we go! Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it into the trash room. And to do that, you get, they gave me a gate key for the trash room mm -hmm. gate. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room? And only the person on duty, cleaning duty has access? What's the point of going all... The or going to all that trouble. Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw things out whenever we want? 
that seem doesn't that seem more so convenient? in other words actually anyone who kills the fellow student becomes blackened and becomes blackened will will graduate unless they are discovered so that's it that must be why if anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted then destroying evidence would be super easy the thrill would disappear and the things would become boring boring hey listen anyways more important than that hey you bastard hey why did you want a cleaning duty gig in the first place oh um, I just decided to volunteer for something I knew nothing of, no one else would do. What's the big deal? You... Liar, I know why you did it. Is it? You like... want to dig through all the girls' trash looking for, you know, poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a common what sense kind of way. What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D characters. You know what I mean. But all kinds... But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you're, you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... I would never get tired of 2D. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D to 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. The only 3D is... Whoa! Uh, the only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Uh, oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are we not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about a Hufimi's questionable morality, there's an easy solution. Whenever a guy gets cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash or from picking up the trash to dispose of it. <laughs> Whoa, what? what? If you're so innocent as if you're as innocent as your claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> uh, that's not supposed to. Uh. Anyway, on another topic, Hufimi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask mm -hmm. you. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but we haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma or save a village or beat a boss or anything. No, it's nothing like that. I was hoping you can get into the trash room and look around. <gasps> oh, okay. So easy. So Hufumi and I headed down to the trash room. Hmm. You'd like me to hmm. open the gate, wouldn't hmm. you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found them to themselves a way out. Whatever. Please just hurry up. Okie okie, leave it to me. Hifumi and I, I pulled... Hifumi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate and then Mr. Naegi. However, Mr. Naegi, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You f you fiend. You planned this all along. No. I wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy evidence or not. Mm. Mm. But the actual mm. killer is mm. you, isn't it? You want to see if any you left anything behind. <gasps> Wait. Maybe a parallel world. Whatever. Let's just hurry up and keep looking. Okay, we can talk to Hufimi. What's this? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hi. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looked like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. A burnt piece. Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? Anyway, this is... A piece of cloth and the shape. Part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. Now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means this is all that's left from the evidence the killer destroyed. But there's lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough to figure out who the killer is. A burnt piece a burnt shirt piece has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. <laughs> There are shards of broken gas scattered around in the front of the incinerator. Looks like some kind of glass ball, but it's but it, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Yeah, is that... Do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Mm. <laughs> Kidding aside, it's the thing that you might see in a big city street corner. Gaze into it, and it'll show you a glimpse of the future. Maybe it's that Mina girl who was on a quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but 
Who did this particular pop belong to? The only person it could be. They all just, they, sh they should still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Shattered crystal ball has been added to your truth bullet section of your handbook. Oh, is that why he's been super awkward? A green button and a yellow button. There's no doubt they'll be related to the big mecha mechanism. This is the incinerator. It's the way it's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green buttons and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's pretty simple setup. You press the green button and it gets going and the yellow button turns it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? <laughs> huh? Somebody turned the incinerator on? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Was it a Perhaps it would, was the work of a fairy. Hey, Fimi, do you realize what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? No, you just said last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes, but there can't be can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel Yesterday, as, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out, and definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then, and since I am the only one who has the key to open the gate, Most it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means somebody was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Hmm. This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator's off and the glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. <laughs> what does that mean, Mr. Miyagi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone I'm already sure knows it. it's you. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. It sounds like he's living out his, one of his comic book fantasies. Okay, we haven't actually talked to him alone. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, Mr. Miyagi, you seem a little down. Huh? Really? <laughs> if you need help lifting your spirits, call me anytime. Come on. I've got all on. kinds of uh, stuff that might help cheer you up. Oh my god. Unless it's a shady one, then it's not for me, buddy. I don't know why I continue to reference that thing, but I do. Anyways. Um. Okay. So back to the gym we go, I guess? Yeah. Gym entryway. We might as well. Honestly, like, because the only person with a crystal ball, there's two people. It's... Hero. Would you better speak up now or forever hold his peace? Hey, hero, can I ask you something? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Yeah. Hero, snap out of it. Uh, um. Uh, huh? Uh, Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Ah, <gasps> uh, that's my crystal ball. Uh, but it was smashed. What the what hell? The I, I only brought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. How did it break? What? Was it actually made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled this crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged uh, to you. Um, yeah, that was for sure mine. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night and someone must have came by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room. That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Thanks, hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, um, sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years came out to like a million dollars. A m million? Uh, um, That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. 
That's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Facts. Ding dong, bing bong. Oh no. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? Oh, crap. It's time for the long-awaited class trial! No. Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> oh, the Monokuma room! Please. Okay, I'm down to go there, but, like, also, uh, the red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, that's where I have to go. Oh, no. I don't feel like I have enough knowledge. I don't want to accidentally slay somebody on accident. You! You're late, Makoto. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> huh. I bet you're afraid that you would be discovered as the, the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions yet. Save that for the class trial. There, we can reveal all the details of Makoto's crime. So they were really convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? 